this is really this is a really neat spot Look how flat it is it's like this is screaming like build on me <laughs> Gained a level let's go What's going on everyone? My name is Cloudy and this is the third episode of my Conan Exiles Savage Wild series. I just wanted to thank everyone for all the likes and comments on my previous videos. I am completely blown away by the response to this series so far. You are all absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to progress further into this playthrough. With that being said, let's get into where we left off. Okay, so the first thing that I think that we need to do today is we need to get ourselves some upgraded tools and probably some better armor. Um, we are going to get the carpenter bench too. Pretty much all of these things right here we're going to work on in today's episode. At least these. So we can, uh, we need level 10 for I think all of them. Yep. So we can just double click on them. Put them all right there. Could. We're gonna do that too, so we can do some. Oh, you know what? I didn't need to do that because we already had a a, a good um hardened field knife that I found from a a chest earlier. Okay, so I have done a bit of gathering, not not a very much, as you can see, just just a little bit here. Um, and we're over encumbered though. Crap. We might have to take a couple trips, but that's, that's all right. Let's take this up here first. So if you've seen in my previous video where I started to do a build for my forge up here, I did end up tearing down a lot of it. I left outside of these two signs, I left everything that I can create myself. Um, out, well, I guess the signs and these chests, which there's nothing in the chest at the moment, so I'm just going to leave them. Uh, I know you can't start making these chests until I think it's level 20 is when you can start making those. Box maker right here. Level 20. So I still have five more levels before I can use these, so I won't use these ones. But, yeah. I kept kind of the, the bare bones of, you know, the sandstone stuff, the stuff that I could build anyways before I started adding all the decorations, but I decided in this playthrough that I'm just going to play as legit as possible. So we're just gonna, you know, we won't place things until we can make them. If I do uh, do builds where I use uh, creator mode, I will be sure to go back and delete them. I'll just do it for like visual purposes and stuff like that. but. We won't use them in our playthrough. Okay, so we got our coal in here. Now we'll go down and we'll grab this iron really fast. As you may have noticed also, chat, since the last video, I am now wearing daggers. Uh, I was made aware that daggers are really good in early game. So I just made a pair of stone daggers real quick. I'm excited to go try them out. So hopefully, hopefully that helps us in the early game. As the, the bigger weapons can be uh, a bit cumbersome. So I think today's goal is to make iron tools, probably get some like leather going, get some like leather armor on. I think that's probably a good idea. We can go discover more of uh, Maroon. I think it's Maroon. It might be Maroon. Maybe you guys can help me in, in the comments. Is it Maroon or is it Maroon? <laughs> but I, I did notice that the, I have a whole part of the town that I have, I have not discovered yet. So we might go back there. You uh, all told me that there is chests in all the houses that I can go loot also, so... I'm very interested to see what we can find. Let's make a blacksmith bench. Too. Well, I guess we have to wait for the, the iron bars. We need 50 iron bars and 250 stone to make the blacksmith bench. And we'll place that over here. This right here. 
So we'll put this over here once we get the materials real quick. We're gonna turn this this cave into our our smithing area. While we're waiting for the stuff to smelt, I can just gather some rock or whatever real fast. Um, since we're getting into tannery, or, um, to tanning uh, for leather, we're gonna have to set up a tannery somewhere here in our little, in our little encampment. I've had some ideas of putting the carpentry bench or like a carpentry building here somewhere in the bottom down below the tree and then building a tree house and putting the tannery up in the tree house. I guess the idea is like when you're drying hides that the air movement will make like an open tree house to uh, kind of show that we're drying you know, hides, something like that. Of course, you could just, you know, you could just throw the work uh, table on the ground and just craft whatever you needed and move on. But I do like the building aspect of the game. So we'll go out of our way a little bit to uh, make things kind of cool looking. Gather all this rock while we're waiting for uh, for our iron ingots to uh, melt. Well, we could try to go out and get some hides while that's going too. Probably not a bad idea. We have some Antelopes down here. Also some, some hyenas I saw earlier when I was gathering. Oops. Okay. A lot faster. Wow. Very much faster. That's pretty cool. I'm usually somebody who gravitates towards like, you know, your big fantasy weapons. Just unrealistic types of uh, weapons, but this is pretty cool. Okay, we got two over there though. I don't know if I wanna take two on at once. We don't wanna, we don't wanna get cocky here. <laughs> Wait, oh no, I didn't. Wrong dagger. We got this, it's okay. We got this. You're not killing me, hyena. Oh, I like the bleed. It just sits there and bleeds to death. Wow, that's crazy. There's another cave over there. Oh wow, look at that. There's a cave going into the area where we are setting up. I wonder if that goes underneath. Oh, that's cool. We'll have to go check that out. This would be a pretty cool tree to like set up a like a tree house thing in. Also, that'd be pretty neat. I am constantly running around looking for places to like build. So sorry if I'm annoying you on that. Okay, so we got humans over here. 
I'm having loss of frames, which is a bit concerning. All right, here we go. And then they sit there and just bleed. That's crazy. That's a huge advantage. Pray comes to us. And then they just die, huh? Wow. That's pretty crazy. And I see another one kind of heading over our way. Hopefully they don't see us. What is this? Skin skirt, huh? It's probably better than what we have on. We'll see. What we got? This is two? Oh, it's totally better. Okay. We'll go with this for now. We'll just try to get these, like... Uh-oh, now we got two of them. This could be bad. I have a lot of lag. Oh, that's a named... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get back. We got a named one. We're gonna die. In a way. Mm, they did not waste any time messing us up. Jeez. They're still coming. Okay, now we're good. Well, that did not t uh, turn out as uh, planned. We'll probably just focus on getting some better armor and, and stuff here and then before we go messing with the, the humans. Okay. Healed back up. I take this one out. We'll stick to the hyenas and stuff for now. <laughs> Okay, well, at least we can kill the hyenas. Let's go. So, I wonder what's up here. Let's see, let's see what's up here. Oh, that thing's attacking me. Okay. It's stuck in the cactus. Oh no! I keep doing that. I keep having my skinning knife out. Oh wow. There's a really big snake over there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll get eaten. We're not going to go over to those. What is that thing over there? You see that? I saw movement over there. That must be like a rock nose because it just went into the ground. <laughs> Found some iron. Can always grab some more iron. Okay. 
Oh, there's a lot of iron up here. We found the iron. So that's the that's another biome. That's cool looking. Hmm. Lots and lots of iron. Cloudy likes. All right. So what have we got over here? Ooh, this is really. This is a really neat spot. Look how flat it is. It's like this is screaming like build on me. <laughs> Gained a level. Let's go. Level sixteen. Oh, this is just like, yeah. If this what If we didn't find the place that we were already building at. Yeah, this is crazy. This is like the perfect like little port area. Water down there. Seeing where this is going. Yeah, that's like, oh wow, this is a this is a spot to remember because that's very much a, um a base location. Keep that one in mind, chat. I do like where we're setting up though because we're over by um the NPC town. <clears throat> I feel I feel like we have a pretty good a pretty good spot selected. At least when it comes to like a desert biome. Uh, the idea in this playthrough is to create a town in each biome and then connect them all with like teleporters. That's the the idea anyways. That's really far down. So wait. Where are we at? What's up there though? I know we just jumped down. Like what's over there? Let's see. Is that a cave below me? That kind of looks like a cave, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, okay. It's not a cave. It's just a kind of like an indent. It looked like a cave from up above. This is another neat kind of area. Oh, I don't want to fight you, crocodile. Leave me alone. Go back to your water. It's all good. You don't need to attack me. Oh, this is like a path up. Uh-oh. What's up in here? Another, like, really uh, neat uh, <clears throat> flat spot. Mm, I love exploring in this game. So cool. Mm, it's sort of getting dark on us, though. That's kind of scary. How much weight do I have? I can get a little bit more um, iron. I don't want to get over encumbered though. But we're definitely going to need to iron for all of our tool upgrades. For some new weapons. Some eventual iron armors. But we could definitely use the iron as we come across it. Got like a little pack of deer up here. Uh oh, what do I hear? Oh, it's a snake. Run away. Run away. Ah. 
Okay. Got away from the snake. <laughs> now what? The human encampment. We got a scorpion charging us. Everything wants to kill us, chat. Everything wants us dead. <laughs> I think that, yeah, that's just an NPC camp, too. But we can go over and discover it, at least. Oh, God, it's right behind me. Oh, jeez. We'll see if we can pull the scorpion over to some unexpecting person. Yeah, them. Ruins of... Sheka? <clears throat> Just gotta keep moving. Don't let him get a hold of you. I like the water. That's cool looking. Whoa, lots of people. Keep on moving. We need to head back to our camp because it is getting nighttime on us extremely fast. And before you know it, we won't be able to see. That's a big scorpion over there. Look at that one. Oh, geez. It's going to chase me now, isn't it? There's a scorpion over there, too. It's like Land of the Scorpions. Where are we at? Uh, we got another sneak. Ow. We were poisoned. Oh, no. Hmm, what's this? Pull our torch out here. Um, <laughs> maybe I should come back here during the Atlean Atlantean tomb. Oh, this must be one of the, is this a dungeon? Did I find a dungeon? That looks kind of like a dungeon to me. I, I don't really want to jump down there while I'm a naked girl. <laughs> Might, that might not end so well. I don't think we're prepared for any uh, adventuring of that sort. I think we should just be heading our way back to our spot, which is pretty far away. It got dark on us really quick. Which is a bit unfortunate. We mm, might have to just kind of stay and wait for the nighttime to pass. I do have the nighttime set pretty quick. Because I don't have the best eyesight and uh, nighttime doesn't do me any favors. There's another huge scorpion. <clears throat> I still don't quite recognize where, where I'm at yet. Oh, there's one of those trees. I think we're getting closer. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Okay. We ran, we ran a circle. Yep, that's where we almost died at, two humans. Okay, all right, now I know where we're at, cool. Mm, there's that other cave up there. Uh oh. We got two. Oh shit. Okay, one's dead. Another one's dead. Okay. Grab their hides real fast. Over encumbered. No. That's why it's going to be the first thing. Let's do one in that and one in this.
Okay. I would say we have plenty of iron now going. Let's set up what will be the beginning of our tannery. I do want to build the tannery in a tree, but I did kind of think when I was out gathering that I probably won't be able to do that how I want because I probably don't have the building materials on. When does this unlock? Level 30. Okay. Well, I most certainly don't want to wait till level 30 to craft a tannery. <laughs> So that's something that we're going to have to set up as we go. As much as I like cosmetically want to make my base a certain way, I obviously can't. We're just going to have to kind of like push forward and get levels first and then kind of come back and do it. Then we can't build in this tree yet. But we can build underneath of it for now. Let's grab some wood and some stone. And we'll start putting that together. And some... Wood. Let's put this over weight. Let's do a little bit of building. So unfortunately, here at the beginning, you're kind of... You're very limited on your variety of, like, what you can actually build. So... Building pieces. We'll just build everything with... I guess we only have these options. Sandstone and flotsam, so... Let's just start out with this, and, um... As we go, this will move up into the tree. But right now, we just kind of have to... Set up something a bit more simple. I mean, at the end of the day, you could literally just do that. You could just bring up your crafting station. See? Um, smithing. Tannery, which we don't um, have enough bark yet, which we could go out and get it. And you literally just throw your tannery down. And this would be good enough. You could literally just leave it like this, throw a chest on it. And, uh, you know, go about your way. But like I said, I think a, a, big, a big part of the fun of this game is um, designing your town. Setting up your base. I'm gonna miss not having all these like half walls. Well, there's a half wall. We could use this. But what we're gonna have to do is make some steel tool or some iron tools because it's gonna take forever to gather some of these materials without some better tools. So I think the first thing we should do is probably Build the blacksmith bench. That way we can make tools first. So let's grab our iron here. This is going to make us overweight. And here. Just kind of position it here in the corner. Like it was... Something like that. Okay, here's our iron tools. We can also make our iron reinforcements and our steel reinforcements. These are going to be your building materials. So the first things we're going to want, we're just going to want to make all four of these. So we'll go with our pickaxe first. We're going to, we need to get branches in here. Pickaxe. Hatchet. We already have the skinning knife, so we don't need to make the skinning knife. Uh, skinning knife. We got lucky and got this out of a chest. And then we'll make the iron sickle also. The iron sickle is going to allow us to gather um, plant fiber a lot faster, and it's always it's also going to allow us to accumulate a bunch of insects and seeds, which we're going to use uh, later in. So we can replace our stone tools now. Okay, so that was that was very easy. That's out of the way. So now we have the iron tools. Let's go 
get some bark and some resin. And the easiest way to go about getting that is to harvest a tree with a pickaxe instead of a hatchet. And it will give you resin and bark instead of wooden branches. Um, alternatively, there is... I don't have the knowledge on it at the moment, but there is a pickaxe. That's what this is right here. <clears throat> the pickaxe allows you to get all four materials from like a tree. So you can use that tool on stone and wood. So it's kind of like a combo tool. So if I use the pickaxe on a tree, I would end up getting wood, bark, branches, and resin. Okay, I can't use it on the cactuses. I can only use it on the trees, but there you can see I'm getting bark and resin from the trees. But I'm not getting it from the cactus. Whereas if I use the hatchet on the axe, or on the cactus gives me wood and cactus seeds and then it's giving me prickly pears which i've just been eating to keep my food up eventually we'll just prepare a bunch of meat and, and stuff like that but since we have it on us we might as well just use it while we're out and about I'm definitely liking the light pattern a lot more, or the sun path, versus, like, say, Sipta. That's probably the, my least favorite thing about Sipta, is the way that the sun paths. And it's just always low in the sky, it's always casting these, like, long shadows, and... It's not my, it's not my favorite. How we come in here? What do we got? We got just 126. <laughs> Some bark. Early game gathering. It, it, it most certainly goes slow. But, you know, that's... I guess the joy of it also. Because as you get the better stuff, you really feel it. Uh-oh, we got over-encumbered. Did not think that was coming up that fast. Well, that's not good. I, we don't need these cactus seeds whatsoever. Um, I don't plan on planting a bunch of cactuses when we're surrounded by a bunch of cactuses. Okay. Back to our base. Alright, so we have our little, like, half-building pieces here. I love these. These are such a, a cool little addition in the mods. But, oh, I feel so, I feel so limited right now because it's just the lack of things we can actually make. And we'll just make like a little outdoor, um, area to do this in for now. Um, should we use pillars? Should we put pillars in the corners? Do the pillar trick real quick. I learned this from the content creator eradication on YouTube. His build content is so freaking cool. So, how do we do this? How do we do this? Alright, so if we want it in the corner, this points 
This way, right? Like that, yeah. Okay. And then you just delete the rest. Something like that, right? So then that way we can have like pillars in the corners. If we wanted. And then you can just do that to move it over. I think. Yep. All you have to do is just make sure that the whatever one you're using is just touching the ground by the time you delete the, the top ones and you'll be you'll be all set. And same thing, just do this to extend it over. Um Okay, so that at least gives us, like, some kind of starting little structure <laughs> that we'll, we'll end up tearing down anyways. Because I want to take this and put it up in the tree. But for now, for now, something like this will work. It it's whatever. Um, What do we need for sails? We need fiber and branches. I, I don't think I've ever built with the sails, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if I've ever used... The sails in my other, in my other two playthroughs. So that would be like a, okay, okay. So, this is. Let's do it. Let's make this out of sails. But we need to go grab some branches. Then we got these. Let's use our pickle to get some plant fiber. You can get the plant fiber so much faster once you get an iron, an iron tool. Picking it by hand is awful. It is not ideal to pick it by hand. All right, what do we want to do with this? What do we want to do? Um. I don't like the wood walls in the flotsam. Really? I like these better. That looks weird. Why does it look like that? Oh, because... <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Let's do at least the first floor, I guess. Oh, no. We didn't want to do that. Shit. Mm, we've, we have... We have ran into, maybe not, maybe not. I mean, let me see here. Um, I, I've been using these like double doors that come with a, a mod and I just hate using these ones now. <laughs> I'll use it for now. I hate building these like standard boxes, but it'll work, it'll work. So something like that, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. We'll just make something really simple that way we have something to work with. And then I will go back and as we go, we will make everything nicer. There, we, we got like a, a big tent now or something. <laughs> I 
guess it goes like that, yeah. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like those. Um, I like these kind of. We did say we were going to leave it open, though, so let's do that. Something like that, I think. Probably work. Would probably work okay. Uh oh, we're out of wood. Okay, we have to go get some more wood. Oh, I can't wait till I'm not having to deal with over encumbrance. It's so terrible. try this. Is there any of um, this one? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, it does work. I like that. I like it. Okay. I'm like that. Very cool. Same thing with these, I think. Same idea. Go a half. And then... Outside of that stupid doorway. What if we use... The flotsam doorway. Oh, it's so ugly. Ugh. So ugly. Um. A lot of times for my doorways, I will use, like, the stable pack. I really like the stable packs. Uh, framing. Oh, I do have these unlocked, though. Okay, we're probably going to do something like this. big open even though it's sandstone and it doesn't <laughs> and it doesn't match so well with the rest of the build and it at least gives us just like this big open doorway that we can run in and out of we're not playing on a pvp server so this is just a server that i have for myself and for really anybody that wants to play with me but I have it set up as like a PvE server, so. We don't need to have like all these like super intricate uh, lock systems and all of that. We're just kind of just build, you know, fantasy RPG towns. Like, I guess that's kind of the, the intent behind this entire series. Does that work? Something like this. Just a little, little dinky house for now. To dry out some uh, hides. Here, we need the bark. But then we'll throw that in here. Like that. Like so. Like that, probably. Go perfect. We'll cover up that. <laughs> the rock sticking through. That'll work. Yep. Alright, let's go grab the bark. Bark, bark, bark. Where you at? Where's that? As you will see as um, my playthrough goes, once I get to the part where we can spec into over encumbrance I will have so much stuff in my bag all right let's go with oh my god 90 stone away <laughs> oh. okay 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 when I first found this little spot, it didn't seem like as spread out as it as it is. Like this is gonna create a wonderful town. Like you see all the like 
you know, the road going through here in the center and then just all of the buildings leading up to it. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Okay. So now we can build a tannery. Like so. We can throw our, our bark in here. And, um... Now I guess we just go grab our... Our hides. We'll get those now. Oh, perfect. Now we're not overweight. We'll throw those in there and we'll get those, uh... Those are crafting. And that should have us set for a, a, a second. For a little bit. Yeah, you can see we're going to have a little bit of leather here. So this will... This will at least get us started. All right, everybody. I think that's a good place to stop for today. If you're still here, thank you for watching the video. If you thought it was cool, drop a like. You know, all that good stuff. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one.